Hey, it's me, Kelsey May, with Evermore Nest here at Pop Dust. We would describe it as Americana or alt country. Uh, we incorporate quite a bit of rock and roll and blues and, you know, some sort of bluegrass folky vibes as well. Um, but definitely sort of a country, country vibe. There's a small club in Cambridge that's super lovely called Toad. Um, that was a lot of fun. We played the Kennedy Center. What am I talking about? That was in August and that was huge and so much fun. Quite an honor to, to play there. So Evermore Nest, those three words, um, they're in a line in a poem. Um, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce the poet's name. I think it's Mary Ann Samine. Uh, I came across this poem of hers in a literary journal a few years ago and those three words just really stood out to me and, and kind of felt like home. Um, I, was, I was trying to, I'd been putting out records under the name Kelsey May, as you guys know, um, and and I hadn't quite, I didn't, I didn't feel like I had found my sound and myself and um, so I was looking for um, sort of a new avenue musically and Evermore Nest became the home for that. You know, in the Southern Baptist Church, singing like old hymns and, and learning harmonies and that kind of thing um, with, with a family that was really influenced by, you know, traditional Southern sounds. Um, and so, so part of me is very much influenced by that sort of Southern vibe. And then New Orleans is just such a, um, a wonderful, magical place for finding inspiration. So I would more say New Orleans is, is influential in that there's, all you have to do is look out the window and, and uh, there's something, there's a song. <laughs> there's something to write a song about, so. Yeah, New York is um, also, I'm sure, you, I'm sure you can look out the window here and see five songs. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot happening. So yeah, lots of energy. So right now we are we are um, we have just started introducing quite a few of our new songs into the set lists. So we'll be we'll be playing probably at least two or three of those tonight, and um, and so yeah we'll be getting into the studio. I would say within the next six months or so uh, to start work on the next Evermore Nest record. I wanted to work with a specific guy uh, named Nielsen Hubbard, who's an amazing producer, and. Uh, so I went up to Nashville and the week that we recorded was the week in, it was August 2017 and it was the week of the eclipse, the total eclipse. And Nashville is in the line of totality, was in the line of totality for that eclipse. And so the day we started recording, we all took a break in the afternoon to go outside and experience this total darkness at like one o'clock in the afternoon, which was totally bizarre and cool. And, uh, and so anyway, it was just like a really strange week energy wise, which I think that kind of put the cap on while I was there recording to go to uh, um, developing your intuition uh, sort of workshop or, or just group meeting, uh, community meeting, where these people get together and talk about energies and spirit guides, etc. The leader of the group did a, um, led a, a meditation in which you could meet your spirit guide or your spirit animal and I had a very, <laughs> very moving experience. you could choose which route you wanted to go. And I chose to go the route of um, meeting my spirit guide or a spirit guide. I guess you can have more than one. I was kind of hoping that maybe I would run into like an old family member or some, you know, somebody that like I miss, you know, that maybe I knew. It was a child in, uh, in, in a tree and I climbed this tree and we just sat in silence and it was incredibly moving. That was also the week of recording this album. So yeah, I think the album's pretty infused with um, all kinds of, you know, energies that we were feeling and inspired by. Yeah, the album is called The Place That You Call Home. And obviously if you search Evermore Nest, you will find that. And um, it's a record I made in Nashville with some really amazing artists. Yeah, really proud of it and hope, hope folks like it. But yeah, you can find it on our website, evermorenest.com and um, of course all the major media.